typical National Express bus, got the turn in circle of the QE2. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Uh, so, third vlog of my day. You've seen these all in different uh, orders. I don't know what uh, order you've seen these. I've lost the top to my computer camera. There it is. Better put that lens cap on there or we're uh, in a bit of trouble. So we're going to uh, Bournemouth University today because we have to Skype, or scalp I should say, all of our remaining MMCs from Orbus. Now those are the university uh, branded buses. And I've been told by a very reliable source. We should be on the full house. Very reliable source. A full house means a rare because we never get a full house. And not only that, there's a pride livery one. Now yes. you know me, I'm a pride livery collector. Oh, 1688. And anybody who wants 2087, you're a full Exactly. <laughs> so uh, we'll see if it comes uh, in. Well, if he says we're on a full house, it should come in. So we're just waiting for our bus, which I believe, is it the U2? Mm -hmm. U2, beautiful day. Um, <laughs> someone got that. <laughs> and then we're going to... Now, are we literally expressed to the university, or do we have to stop somewhere in between? I think it's somewhere in between, and then we're on the start point. That's a different road out of the pool. Gotcha. So, let's wait for our university bus. Oh, okay, folks, I'm going to test your knowledge here. I'm going I'm to really test you here now. You see the sign in the middle? I'll just show it you. The sign in the middle there says coaches only. Spot the odd one out. I'll, I'll give you a hint. It's the one that doesn't look like a coach. It's pretending to be a coach. It's pretending to be a coach. Yeah, I don't my name is Volvo, I identify as a coach. Yeah, I identifies as a coach you to death or the parking set, do you want me to death or? Yes it does. <laughs> uh oh, seagull walk. Oh oh it is on now. It, it. Alright, alright, now you you listen here, right? No beaks below the belt. No wing in it. Uh oh no, they're, they're all after that guy! <laughs> they're all after that guy! They want his donut! <laughs> oh, alright, they, they, they are all really annoyed with each other now. That's a Mike Barlow Pepsi, you just wouldn't believe. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't say that, oh. too, but you know. They, they're all really. They, there is one donut in the middle and they're all scrapping over it. It's like a it's like a gang war. Who's got the donut now? <laughs> oh, oh, those 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 two don't don't care. They they will start a fight with someone for no reason. But these two these two here about to start a scrap for no reason either. <laughs> it is on in the car park of Bournemouth. No, it's pool bus station, not the Bournemouth. How would you expect that? I I knew that I was testing you. Yeah, I'm gonna give you two a hint. You better get off the road. You'll be a Kentucky Fried Pigeon, or Seagull in this case. But here comes our bus to take us to university. It is going to be number 1695, 22 plate. You got to love it. It's thank God we had 96 in Bournemouth. It is thank God we had 96 in Bournemouth, isn't it? Because that's the other one. Sorry folks, that loud noise is the air conditioning that's uh, just in front of us over here. Uh, train station is, uh, train tracks are just over there. Yeah, you follow it around and you cross over and it comes out to the railway It does. But, uh, 
We're out of here. And 1828. Huh. Oh, right then. Hey. I think we're going to work around the Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh... I'm adhering to you on this one. I've also stubbed the front. Cheers. Look at that. That's a cute. Right then, folks. That's uh, all of that complex over there. So all of that literally over there is Bournemouth University. Uh, we are on the other side of the roundabout. The bus station is over there. Uh, we can get buses coming out that road straight there and then they disappear down that way there into Bournemouth. You get all your university buses uh, here. So U1, U2, U3. Uh, you also get the National Express buses here and you get the regular service buses which depart from that stand over there. They have thrown a curveball at us because one of the buses that we were going to get here, 1689, has now transferred off the U runs and now onto the M runs. Thanks, more bus. He says with his stubbed thumb. So... Yeah, it's a case of we've got to wait now. Perbeck uh, boy is uh, about to come uh, over here. I remember him from earlier. So here comes an example of uh, one of the university buses. This is on the U1. And this will go back into Bournemouth uh, Town Centre and it's 1687. And that is a 22 plate MMC as opposed to the new M buses which are 73 plates. Here comes what I mean by your regular service buses. Uh, this is uh, another scan you're on this city on the 17 over to into Bournemouth uh, Centre. This has come from Poole, the uh, the slower way, and that's uh, a bus with no number. Seriously, folks, it has no number anywhere. We therefore dub thee the bus with no number. Yeah, that's probably a. Uh what I'll end up uh, doing anyway. E200 MMC on the 6th to Wimborne. Which one are you? Which one are you? You are number 242. Decent load on it. So here's uh, another uh, livery for Bournemouth, uh, for the Bournemouth University stuff. This is 1686, and this is going to be in a livery, which is a catalyst for growth livery. Still no Pride Rider yet. Next up, we've got an ex-Uni bus back on the Uni routes for the uh, university. 1631. And it's working the U2 over to Poole. This is actually the third U2 bus. I was wondering because there were only two out, but this is the uh, this is the third one here. The into working on this one. And so uh, he's off now. But also coming out behind him, we have the U3. What a livery this is! I've got set I. I think this actually might be, aside from the pride livery, this might be an absolutely fantastic livery. Look at that thing. 1698. And also, here comes another U1. Now, this uh, this is liveried up for, uh, looks like an energy crisis uh, livery. So it looks like all the U buses are painted up in sort of the same livery, but they all have different um, catch, uh, catch tags on them, if you can understand that. 
and then you got someone in the beamer trying to show off. Found her! Ladies and gentlemen, uh, he's found a pride bus. Literally everywhere he goes, there is a pride bus. I kid you not. Ian's coming out, people. <laughs> it's a shame it's on an MMC. I always find a pride bus, no matter where it is. Well, I think there's two reasons why. Uh, first of all, you know where to find these buses, because you are the ultimate bus w And uh, you should know this from Rusley. And second of all, as uh, your friend uh, Phil likes to uh, point out at Hull, you're coming out. So when you get to Leeds bus station, you are f and I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. Driving dangerously round the roundabout, mate. Well done. 1688. Come on, Ian. You should know this. Bus drivers are terrible. They all drive like crazy people. I mean, come on, man. What do you expect from bus drivers? Clean, proper drive? Jesus. Not from where I live. Second of all, get a room, you two. Gooch Lord, man. Get a room! Mind you, this is Portsmouth or Bournemouth, whoever it is. Uh, bold. Mind you, though, it's a good bowlage because no one will mind, apart from Ian, who wants to spot buses. But he can't because there's a car in the way. And it's not just a car, it's a jag. <laughs> it's a jag. So this car's fine, because it's a jag. It's got a bit 1790. It is 1790. Look at this one. 1699. Now I tell you what, that is probably that's probably more be more beautiful than the Pride livery. And that's saying something. Alright, this one here is going to be my last vi uh, video, but here's another pretty one. I mean, Jesus, H almighty. I'm going to be blocked out by a car, I think. No, I'm not. L All of the university buses are absolutely beautiful. I, I cannot say a bad word about all of them. Uh, what are you doing? He looks like a staff shuttle then. That would explain why he's parked here. Why were you parked here? See, people from the university, they'd say ugly. We would say classic. only need an hour there. <coughs> Literally an hour. Oh hello, is that uh, 1106 there? It certainly is. Hello Pride Rider. It's time for dindins. The M2 that uh, I need. Right. Exactly. Right, we're back in Bournemouth now. There's our bus over there. We just got off 1697, uh, wasn't it? Yeah. Might want to go get your brakes checked, mate. Uh, we're now going to go have some dinner. Because uh, food must be had. I heard something squeaking on the other side of that. Was that cross country? Probably. Probably one of my nanny friends. I think the 1745's the last depart. 1M66. You might be right, <sighs> actually. Just before we uh, disappear. Got a U-Tong here. U-Tong, me-Tong, we-Tong, Pete-Tong. If that, that's been... Ah, uh, and the ex-Newcastle 12? The ex-Newcastle one here. Oh, the ex-Newcastle one as well. Very nice, I'll get a photo of them. 
have to do it on the phone though because uh, that's all I can uh, afford right now. I meant I use my Fifth Amendment right to tell this urban to go and sod off. Which one is it? I can't see. The light's so bright. Is it 2260? I think I'll go down that way. Yeah, let's go say hello to the M2. E200 MMC. Uh, oh, actually, I think this is the area to go up Derby Road. Anyway. Here it is, E200 MMC. 234. So that is gonna wrap things up then folks. All in all, it's been a fantastic day and wouldn't change it for the world I'm joining. I wanna get this done before the uh, <laughs> before the Bond movie starts, but yeah. You don't need that long at Bournemouth University. You need literally an hour, if that, to get all of the uh, university laden uh, MMCs. You may not even need to go to the university. I mean, we just went there for simplicity because to get straight from pool it was nice and easy. So um, yeah, that's uh, that's the way that uh, that's the way it goes, then, folks. So uh, hope you enjoyed. Thank you all. Uh, if you did enjoy that, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not already done so. Thank you to the members. Uh, your continued support means an absolute treat, means the absolute world as well. If you want to uh, member up on the channel, it's three ninety nine for a membership. Um, we are looking to go free vlogs a week um, very, very soon. So hopefully you uh, you get online for, uh, for some of that. Next up for us, uh, we... We're going to Salisbury for some buses, but it could be potentially a washout. We'll, we'll have to wait and see how the weather goes. I'm hopeful that uh, it might not be as bad as uh, as we actually think. But uh, yeah, thank you all. hope you enjoyed. I'm going to settle down, watch the Bond movie, and I'll see you all. Kick back and reminisce Thinking about the dumb shit I did Growing up, maybe a bitch But I keep on going cause I know I can do this I was born a baby